এবারে সংগ্রাম আমাদের মুক্তির সংগ্রাম এবারে সংগ্রাম স্বাধীনতার সংগ্রাম Bongobundu kept his words and made Bangladesh an independent country. Bongobundu then started on the quest to defend the country's independence. During restructuring the country, he saw the need for economic development, but he lacked the workforce to explore the resources of the Bay of Bengal. In 1973, in collaboration with the Russian government, Bongobundu established the Marine Fisheries Academy in a green environment on the banks of the river Konupuli in the heart of Chittagong, which was the first and the only maritime educational institution established by the father of the nation in independent Bangladesh with their motto, Learn to Serve. Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina further expanded the dream of Bangabundhu. She provided the vision, look towards south to take the economy forward. Following this, Marine Fisheries Academy was affiliated to Bangabundhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman Maritime University in 2018. A four-year BSc Honours in Nautical Studies, Marine Engineering and Marine Fisheries courses are conducted from this academy. On the orders of the Honourable Prime Minister, the cadets of the Nautical and Marine Engineering departments here are earning continuous discharge certificates, which will allow them to work on Navy warships. Not only that, to promote women's education and empower women. According to the election manifesto of the government, female cadets are being enrolled from the academic year 2010-2011, which is the first ever step for the maritime educational institution in Bangladesh. The recruitment of female cadets started from the 32nd batch in 2010, and so far a total of 56 cadets have passed out from the academy. 15 of them are from marine engineering, and 43 from Marine Fisheries Department. The Marine Fisheries Academy has extended its hand to fulfill the dream. The main goal is to develop human resources through conducting vocational training activities in the maritime sector. The cadets of this academy got job opportunities in fishing ships as well as foreign merchant ships. Through these, they can establish themselves and enrich the economic pillars of the country by earning foreign exchange. They are daring. No matter how severe storms may come, no matter how many obstacles they face, they are steadfast in their goal. They know the impact of the wave. They know the movement of the wind. That's why they return safely to their designated port. The Academy is directly contributing to the implementation of the directives given by the Prime Minister on the exploration, extraction and processing of deep-sea fish resources. So far, 1,914 cadets have successfully passed from the Academy and got job opportunities at home and abroad. A student should be well-trained and expert before entering their workplace. The first stage of their qualification begins in a well-equipped classroom of the Marine Fisheries Academy. Here the cadets' day begins with physical exercise. After the formality of the parade, the students join the classroom. Permanent skilled trainers, officers on deputation from the Navy in Bangladesh, professors from various universities, master mariners of overseas merchant ships, and chief engineers are imparting their knowledge among the cadets as lecturers. The academy is highly facilitated with a maritime security lab, seamanship lab, bridge model lab, physics lab, chemistry lab to train the cadets of nautical department. It also includes biochemistry labs, general zoology and botany labs, rich sea museum and quality control labs for practical training of marine fisheries cadets. It is also being planned in the long run to set up a simulator-based training facility for training the cadets, maintaining an international quality. ICT subjects with the lab, which includes 61 workstations, are included in the curriculum of the academy with the aim of building a digital Bangladesh. The health safety of the cadets in the academy is ensured in the mini hospital. A library with a unique collection of books is there and also a Bangabundhu corner. A huge modern swimming pool is being built to overcome thalassophobia. The sporting entertainment facilities include cricket, football, basketball, tennis courts and a modern gymnasium. 
Cadets have other entertainment facilities as well. This is how the education of cadets ends with a sense of discipline and hard work. The Marine Fisheries Academy is working as a dream charioteer to build skilled human resources for our digital Bangladesh.